Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about SSIS introduction. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of SSIS from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based and much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class one, you will definitely will get the job and also easily survive in the real time environment. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is SSIS. SSIS is nothing but SQL Server Integration Services. Okay, so it's a free component. We can say it is a free. Okay, so when when you purchase the SQL Server, that means if you purchase the SQL Server, you don't need to pay for SSIS tool. Okay, so for example, if you purchase SQL Server, maybe your company, right? Going to purchase the SQL Server license. So SQL Server is nothing but where we are going to develop the SQL part. So we are using SSMS. SSMS is nothing but SQL Server Management Studio. Okay. So whenever you are download and installing, you can able to see these options also. SSAS, SS. IS SS RS. So SSAS nothing but SQL Server Analysis Services. So analysis services. If you know Power BI, it is exactly look like same. Okay. So get data, transform data, and model also. Here we can able to see two models. So if you don't know SSAS, you can follow in my blog also. SSAS videos also is there. So you can go to uh, playlist and you can check the videos SSIS. Now we are discussing about SSIS, right? So SQL Server Integration Services for integration services. SSRS is nothing but SQL Server Reporting Services. So instead of uh, SQL Server SSRS. Power BI is okay, right? It's an advanced version. Power BI is an advanced version. Here also you can develop the reports. How you can able to develop the reports in the Power BI. So these three things are called uh, MS BI tools. Microsoft BI tools. Also called uh, BITS. Business Intelligence Development Tool. Okay. So now we are going to discussing about SSIS. Okay. So what is SSIS? So it is a these three are free services of SQL Server. SSIS, SSAS, SSRS. We can call free services of SQL Server. So what is SSIS? So why we require the SSIS? We'll take a look now. Okay. So there is a scenario in the real time. For example, uh, you have the data in five different places. Okay. So you want to load the data in different different destinations. Okay. So basically SSIS is a ETL tool. What is ETL? Extract T transforms L for load. Extract transform load. So SSIS is a free tool it's a other services of sql server right and ssis is a etl tool and etl plus integration we can say integration okay so now what what is the scenario in which scenario we are going to use the ssis tool that is the most important thing right okay so for example, my data in five different places, maybe SAP, maybe uh, SQL Server, maybe Oracle Server, maybe Excel, maybe PDF. So now my data is in five different places. These are called data sources, right? Data sources okay five different data sources 
now what i want to do is instead of having in multiple different sources of data so i want to make in one file and i want to make this copy in i want to load this copy in different destination for example what is my source five different sources so i want to uh, make this all files in single file and i want to copy in uh, excel or maybe sql server or something let's take sql server only in sql server only i want to copy okay so what we can do with ssis we can able to extract the data so extract means we can take the data so get data extracting is nothing but get data so we are going to extract and l also is there transform also is there transform what is the transform for example in my source let's take an example so in the data sources we have some employee table let's take an example any table so power bi yeah sample data for practice uh, data this is my source file so here we in the source in the source if you observe in the source here the name is like uh, e name is there and uh, sal is there i don't want e name i i want name instead of e name i want uh, name in the destination now it is a source file so when you copy in the destination i want to see it is a, instead of e name i want to see name so instead of sal i want to see salary so maybe uh, i want to change the data types okay so there are many steps are available there are many business logics it's our own requirement okay so in it's our own requirement in our project okay so i want to change so what you have to do we have to do the transform we have to transform before loading see we are taking the data into the we are taking the data and we are going to do the transformations after transformations after loading the data i want to see the changes so instead of uh, e name i want to see as name example i am telling so instead of uh, sal i want to see full name salary so maybe it is in uh, text data type so i want to change as whole number like this so whatever the transformations required all transformations we are going to do okay by using etl tool. so this is the process this is nothing but the etl extract transform and load so loading so loading in not only one destination you can load in the multiple destinations for example if you know power bi in power bi we can able to get data from multiple sources it's a partial etl tool okay so we can able to get data from multiple sources as well as we can do the transformations but limited transformations in the power bi and we cannot load et that part we can do we cannot load into the another destination only we can load into the power bi desktop that is the main difference between uh, ssis and uh, etl so etl is designed for uh, mainly for the etl etl activities right extract transform and load and integration part but power bi is developed purely for the reporting purpose that is a partial etl you can say okay so now let's take a note what are the important points yeah sql server integration service is a component of microsoft sql server database software that can be used to execute wide range of migration task yes understood right first step and ssis is a fast and flexible data warehousing tool used to data extraction yes to get data load and the transformations like so load extract transform and load anything you can tell you can tell extract load transform also that is also fine and you want to cleaning aggregation migrating data and etc it makes easy to move data from one database to another database okay so ssis can extract data from wide uh, variety uh, sources like sql server databases excel files oracle db2 databases and etc there are many databases are right fine and also ssis also include graphical tool so 
wizard for performing workflow functions like sending emails and ftp operations and data sources and uh, destination i will show you in practically in coming video okay don't worry so here we don't need to write the here we don't require the programmer okay so here everything is graphical user interface so we just drag and drop right so we don't require to write the logics and all so very simple if you want to send the messages uh, if you want to do the ftp operations there are many things we can do okay in coming sessions we can get clarity so why do we need uh, ssis tool so here also some points are there maybe you are going to understand in coming sessions these points okay so ssis tool help you merge data uh, from various data stores and automate administrative functions and data loading populate data mods and data warehouses help you clean and standardize the data so building bi uh, into data transformation process automating administrative functions and data loading ssis containing gui help users transformations uh, data easily rather than writing a uh, large uh, programs yes i told you right so it can be load millions of rows uh, from one data source to another data source in very few minutes right identifying and capturing and processing data changes coordinating data maintenance and processing and analysis and the ssis eliminates the need of hard code programmers we don't require the programmers so we don't have knowledge about the much programming language okay so maybe so maybe simple uh, queries basic queries also enough so most of the things we are going to cover with the graphical user interface ssis offers uh, a robust error and event handling yes in ssis we can able to handle the error handling and event handling also we can able to do that so don't worry these points uh, you are going to clear in coming sessions whenever we are talking about uh, real time scenarios whenever we are going to start practically then we can able to understood these points okay so now i think you can able to clear what is uh, ssis okay so thank you for watching my video and uh, if anybody interested to learn uh, special training on ssis so you can call to this mobile number or you can drop email to this email id my whatsapp number also same thing thank you for watching my video